I just wanted to let you guys know that at the end we send the NV items to this device. Really those radio unlock NV items should be sent to the device first. Uh, on the tutorial I've listed both the 2.7 and 3.x versions of the NV item. Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. Uh, I have the long awaited flashing tutorial for the Sprint Motorola Photon Q4G LTE right here, not to be confused with the original uh, Photon. Uh, but basically all the QPST stuff is kind of the same. I already have a video on how to get it into Diag mode. You don't need the device to be rooted. You don't need it, the bootloader to be unlocked or anything. Rob himself, he made a uh, MSL uh, slash SPC program that will help you uh, get that without having a Sprint account and having to call Sprint. So let's say you've got the drivers installed. You have your Diag uh, port. For us right here it's 15. Uh, go into QPSC configuration. If you've never added that port before, go ahead and add the port. Um, if you don't see it, uncheck that. Basically, get it added however you need to do it. Just do it. Go to Start Clients after this is selected and go to Service Programming. All right, it's going to pop up with QPSC Service Programming. And that's the phone number I guess that was on here. Uh, probably an old Cricket account of mine or something. So let's go ahead and click OK for this phone. Uh, I want to know what build we're using right here. Build 378. It's uh, available from a link on our site. Go read from phone. Uh, just like with every phone, you're pretty much going to read first. Uh, we already reset the SPC to all zeros. So here's what's uh, currently programmed to our phone. Uh, we'll just write something like 9999. Okay, actually, that was my old cricket number in there but it doesn't matter. Uh, you go into your phone number first right there if you notice this changed as I dialed that and then uh, you'll type in your MIN next which goes right there. All these are on EVRC. Let's just go through the tabs real quick. You go find a cricket PRL for example. Let's move on to these profiles right here. Uh, mobile IP behavior has got to be simple IP only. This one's not set because it's not an enabled profile. Active user is set to one right there. So we have this right here. This is going to be your phone number at mycricket.com. So whatever is there, uh, just overwrite that. that as well and we just set these all to zero we'll click OK PPP config we'll go to this the phone number at mycricket.com for the tethered we put phone number at mycricket.com as well password cricket have both of these checked and AN phone number at mycricket.com and the password right there so go ahead and write this to the phone. Now, kind of messed up here. We have to backtrack. What you should do first is go into an NV item writer. Uh, CDMAware has this for free. Here's our NV writer. you do have to flash radio unlock NV items so QBSC is shut down really you need to do this first I think it would be a lot easier sometimes it works afterwards but go ahead and do it first connect we're connected to our device you're gonna want to write these NV items I believe I still have them on my desktop here This is the NV item right here that we want to send to our device. The reason why these didn't write is that these were 2.7 and not 3.x versions. Uh, I've listed both on the tutorial. I've attached it on our forum. I don't know why it's not writing right here. But just write that NV item to the device and then go into QPSC and write the settings 
as I showed in the video a little bit earlier. So for more information about flashing devices to Cricut Wireless, please visit cricutusers.com. Uh, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Cricut Users. Like these videos, it helps me out a lot. And subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.